You know, sometimes you just know talent, and this lady, Miley Cyrus, whoa, a lot of talent. Latest song, big hit, Malibu, Comcast On Demand. Billy Ray Cyrus, obviously her father. So once again, that talent runs in the family. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good afternoon, a sweltering day. So you need to cool off with slush puppy. Woo -woo -woo. Especially when those uh, paws are barking. It's hot out there on the pavement today, and for the working class men and women of America, I salute you. Thank you for what you're doing. You know, I got my Columbia gas bill in the mail earlier today. Thankful to have the uh, ability to pay for it and to have it because it does so much like it's running my dryer right now, your Pratt Pack doing a little laundry, and of course keeps you warm in the winter. And those fine folks and a lot of folks working directly and indirectly with Columbia Gas have been working around the clock here in Manaka for weeks in the sweltering heat and torrential downpours laying new gas lines on Pennsylvania Avenue and throughout this great city. So thank you. I do appreciate people who work for a living. My buddy Raja sent me something earlier today and I really haven't had a chance to sit down and dig really into it, but it's about robots in the workplace. Raja loves technology and he continues to enlighten and educate me. He, of course, from CEI, that's an amazing technology company that he co-founded many years ago, but he's also just an entrepreneur and he loves talking business and I love listening to Raja for whatever that's worth, but I do. But one of the things that I really think that robots will never do is that one-on-one -on -one relationship. People, you know, and I got to tell you, I've done a lot of things in this business, and many of you may or may not know, you know, for those 20 years that I worked in Eastern Ohio, while I was at KDK, double duty, pretty much seven days a week, I also sold advertising. Are you kidding me? But I did. And one of the things that I enjoyed about advertising the most, and yes, smartphones have taken away a lot of that one-on-one -on -one contact, but I would actually you know, get out on a few days every week and just visit people, you know, knock on doors, go see people, sit down, see how their family was doing and how they were doing. And, you know, we'd have a cup of coffee and relax a little bit and talk. And for many years while we were doing sports on that big FM station, I had a lot of people in this region support those games and in particular in that hometown of New Brighton. And one was the McNutt family, Sue and Mike McNutt, Mike's father, Dick McNutt, for many years and uncle, were chiropractors who took care of my family. And I actually was seeing a chiropractor when I was in the ninth grade, and I've always had such respect for those who have chose that as a profession because of what they have done for my family. But more importantly, you know, they're in the flower business, and I've always loved small business and business. And I gotta tell you, you find me a robot that can make a bouquet as beautiful as Mike McDutt, and dinner's on me. But man, they do such a great job. And you know, it's really amazing but what a beautiful bouquet of flowers can do for someone to brighten their day. I've often thought, you know, no matter how dreary the weather is or no matter how tough the times are, you know, it can really do so much, whether someone has passed away at a funeral or a wedding or any kind of a celebration, or especially some Mylar balloons to help welcome another year for somebody. There's something to be said about the local flora. So this is just my opinion. I hope you'll continue to support people like the McNutt family who have been bringing a bouquet of smiles and a helping hand to people for a very long time, and they continue to do so right there on 3rd Avenue in New Brighton. So cheers to the McNutt family. Now, what else? My other family, you see this? Universal Studios. Now, I've never been there, but I've sent a lot of people there through AAA Central Talking Travel. Dennis Quinn, who's now out on the West Coast for many years, would join us on the radio Saturdays at 11. You know, Tracy Edwards and Debbie Evans and Jim Lehman and Marita Williams, and we would talk all about this great place. And you know, Dare to Dream, and I've seen all the footage, and I've done a lot of homework, and I did a little homework today, because I hope if you haven't gone on that vacation, that maybe you'll consider Universal in the very near future, and if you haven't, I'm gonna give you some great ideas on why you should. And the reason I'm talking AAA Central, because I have a bonus hour of them this week. I know, folks, it doesn't take much to get me excited, but I'm really excited about 11 to noon, which is our regular time slot, and then noon to one this weekend, so you get two hours of the great folks at AAA Central. And I've said many times, we could really use the whole Saturday from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. and still not do everything that they're doing for you and your neighborhood with all of these great brick and mortar stores. We have one right across the 9th Street Bridge in Rochester. Absolutely love it, it's remodeled. And they're there, folks, with auto insurance, life insurance, everything that you need to do with PennDOT. And also, they can send you on a trip like to Universal. 
you know, you got Harry Potter there, but they've got other things too. Despicable Me, the movie. They've got Minion Mayhem, that's out. Also, Twister, ride it out from that great movie, you know, Helen Hunt and the late Bill Paxton, Twister, 1996. Men in Black, Will Smith, Alien Attack, Tommy Lee, of course, you remember him, right? And Transformers, The Ride, 3D. And also, they've got on site hotels, the Universal City Walk events and all sorts of great eateries too. And it's family friendly, folks. It's universal. So consider the possibilities and book your trip to Universal today. 1-800-354-8761. So how'd I do, Mr. Layman? <laughs> anyway, I, you know, that, secretly, I've always wanted to be a travel agent. Uh, and listen, I could never, even though I talk for a living, Listening to these people talk on Saturdays, I feel like I'm on vacation. I get to go on a vacation every week. And this week, we'll be back again, Trip and Cruise of the Week in the first hour, and then that bonus hour. So I'm really excited about this week, and we're so fortunate to learn that AAA Central, every month through the rest of the year, will be giving us one more hour of their services, and it's free. It's on the radio, and I absolutely love what they do. Thank you, AAA East Central. Now, to the headlines. President Donald Trump, who I have the utmost respect for, who continues to hammer things out through some very tough times. Well, we're today, and actually late last night, we talked about this video blogging it last night. As soon as it broke, he had another meeting with Vladimir Putin. That is a good thing, folks. And I know a lot of you who may not understand politics, and sometimes I don't either. It can hurt when two of the world's leaders from two of the biggest places in the world get together and they actually meet. It's all about communication, and that's a, a good thing. Now, why repeal today and replace later the vote? Mitch McConnell pushing for it and pushing for it. I, I, all I can say is I give the senator from Kentucky a lot of credit because he has not had a moment of downtime for weeks on this, and I think he might just be trying to prove a point that they just don't have enough votes to get this thing done, and it's not as though he didn't try, and people who are trying to get it done haven't tried, but a lot of people just aren't big believers in it. And that's where we're going to pick it up tonight with uh, the great Dr. Terry Madonna from Franklin and Marshall's Polling Center. He is so incredibly talented and he has been gracious enough to decide to join me tonight from Legacy Studios. We're going to go to tape about 8 o'clock. You'll see it later tonight here on Facebook and YouTube. But just to kind of give you an idea, these are some of the things that are coming out of Washington. And I do love Twitter because it really does give you an inside look to what these men and women who are really serving our country are thinking. Here's one. I didn't come to Washington to hurt people. This is from Senator Shelley Moore from West Virginia. She joined Senator Susan Collins from Maine and Lisa Murkowski from Alaska. So we're going to be talking all about that today. And also Chuck Schumer, the Honorable Chuck Schumer, the minority leader in the Senate. He's got three reasons why that I saw earlier today in the Washington Post that we'll share with you tonight with Dr. Terry Madonna. But one of the things that he said, look, I haven't talked to the president. He tweets more than he talks to me. And I haven't seen the vice president in a while. We need to communicate. Ed O'Keefe, if you get a chance, Washington Post. That's where a lot of our stuff is coming from tonight. Now, British Open, some breaking news. Brent Snedeker is out, rib injury. He will not be participating at Royal Birkdale. So that just coming across a little while ago. Harrison and Francisco Cervelli going, going, gone. They went yard. Pirates came back, a thriller 4-3 last night. They're five out. They're 46 and 48. And yes, we have a baseball playoff race in Pittsburgh. Tonight, 7.05, Garrett Cole. It will be the Bucks in Milwaukee. Let's do it again. 1-800-5-BUCKS. Get up there. Get your tickets. Cheer on the black and gold. And raise the Jolly Roger. You can hear it all on 93.7 The Fan. And of course, Jack Zarenzik. Chris Mack will get us started with a pregame. Now, Ted Arnault and I are going to be talking some NFL tonight as well, too. We're going to be talking about some of the biggest battles heading into training camp. Slot corner. Artie Burns, Ross Cockrell likely to reprise their roles as the Steelers starting cornerbacks on the outside. But who will get the job on the inside? Could it be William Gay? We'll find out along with people like Cody Sensenball and rookie Cameron Sutton. I like that young man. And Senquez Colson. We're going to be talking all about that later tonight. And also, backup running back. Everybody is hoping, and I'm a Pitt fan, I like to see James Conner get it, but he's been suffering from some hamstring issues, so he's missed a lot. So Cal, um, now Davis could be one, or Fitzgerald Toussaint could be the other. Also, outside linebacker, a little question to Bud Dupree, the Steelers' 2015 first-round pick will be starting outside linebacker to open the season. 
and there's little doubt that veterans James Harrison and Arthur Motes will have their places in the defensive rotation. But what about T.J. Watt? What can we expect from him? Ted Arnaud will be talking about that. And also slot receivers. You know, Eli Rogers and Marcus Wheaton last year. But going into this year, what does he see? And kick and punt returner. This is huge, folks. Sammy Coates, Kobe Hamilton, uh, Fitzgerald Toussaint, and uh, Justin Gilbert. All of these guys. But Brown and Eli Rogers return punts, too. So how does he see that thing playing itself out in training camp. And of course, the big story, Le'Veon Bell franchise tag, $12.1 million. Some other news and notes in the league, we're gonna be talking quarterbacks like Matt Ryan and also um, Matthew Stafford, up for big deals. You know, and, and, and the thing I really like about Matt Ryan, he said, look, I got a couple of years remaining on my contract. It's, it's all good. We'll let the people who handle business handle business. And you got Matthew Stafford at the front office saying, yeah, we, we need to get something done. We're gonna get something done. But I'm going to ask Ted Arnaud tonight, who's negotiated a lot of contracts in his life, when should somebody really qualify for a new deal? I've always been one to believe you play out the contract that you have, and then you start from scratch and go from there, right? Well, a lot of people in the NFL don't believe that to be the case. Agents, players, what have you. So we'll see what uh, he has to say. And also Bruce Allen, of course, the son of George Allen, that legendary NFL coach now with Washington, on the whole Kirk Cousins deal. So we're going to be talking about that as well, too. He, too, franchise tagged again. I mean, is he really that good? He has shown signs of it, but the money that this guy's been making, it's incredible. These NFL players work extremely hard, but, folks, that's a lot of cash. Steelers.com, John Banaszak, now with Robert Morris, the great coach, the Marine, hoorah, Semper Fi. Great video blog, you gotta check it out. He's talking about training camp, the first one. He said, look, this wasn't gonna be anywhere near as tough as Paris Island as a great United States Marine and how he got through it. And you know, we did many shows together for many, many years, always grateful for the time with John Banaszak. He's just too busy now, folks. But the years we were together, if I'm not mistaken, I think he signed as a free agent for $1,500, if I'm not mistaken. So 12.1 million, that's, that's pretty good cash. That's pretty good cash. And. Uh, Again, it's all good in the National Football League. Hey, last thing, you know, I was talking about the humidity outside today, the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, code orange air today. What this means, Quality Action Day, young children and elderly, asthma, emphysema, uh, bronchitis, limited outdoor activities today. So I just thought I'd pass that on. I think we covered it all, didn't we, ladies and gentlemen? Have yourself a great rest of the day, and thank you so much for joining me in the Pratt Pack Gym. Oh, that's all right.